And for those of you who are catching on, I'm an absolute whiz at marketing. Ding! Hey guys, it's Madison back in my blue chair for another crazy video. And today we are doing the part two on my deep dive series into Russell Hartley and his scam. Oh my gosh. I literally like f***ing horses. I slept with seven different horses. If you haven't seen part one, definitely check it out. But in today's video, we are examining Russell Hartley's texting course that he's advertising and trying to get desperate and lonely men to purchase. Before we get into that, if you enjoy deep dives and like to analyze scams and other unethical business practices going on on the internet, don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. And well, let's get into it. I forgot to mention this lovely art piece right over there that was gifted to me by Oxman Originals because I'm sure you guys can't see it super well. I'll include a bigger picture up on the screen as well as their socials so you can give them a follow. And also don't forget to subscribe to me and my husband's podcast. First episode is coming super soon. So if you didn't see part one of this series, a quick recap is Russell Hartley is a horse lover, saddle up partner, social media, relationship guru, influencer. Why women cheat in relationships part four. It's because women don't want you when you're weak and pathetic and lonely. Mainly known for his douchebaggery and misogyny. Now is it just me or is everybody else getting bored of women just posing for their iPhones like this? It's so boring. It's like, you got nothing else. You can't do anything else than that. And I call them out. I mean, I say, look, you guys are just making these posts for attention from men and they get all up in arms and they're like, no, I, I post these videos for me. Really? Although he also could be categorized as a cringe influencer. Every time you have sex with a new woman, that's a new mare in your stable. I can tell that guy ain't no cowboy. You don't put a bunch of damn mares in your stable together because they're gonna start biting and kicking and raising all kinds of hell. Or a cringe influencer? A cringe fluencer. He also could be categorized as a cringe fluencer for his cringy content. Also, wanted to add more information has come out about Russell Hartley. Thank you to the subscriber that sent me this information. A lot of people online have said that Russell Hartley is a fake name and that they found images of Russell under the name Russell Basili, saying that his age is 33 and that his business is illegitimate. Y'all, I have some dirt on Russell. I even being this close to him in green screen is Y'all aren't up to speed. There's actually a whole video series by this user who goes into looking at the legitimacy of Russell's business and maybe even his identity. All right, for legal reasons, everything that I found was completely publicly accessible information and I'm literally just trying to see if this man is who he says he is. So Russell actually replied to this user's video and was like, Bro, that's not me. Everything you've said is false. Like, sir, if that's the case, how come I found this? That says Russ Basely. Is that not your face? Do you have a twin? It also looks like this guy attended the College of Charleston. Did you guys meet there? Is this like a parent trap situation? Or doppelgangers from How I Met Your Mother? Oh, and graduating from CFC in 2010 would make you 33, not 25. So if we're wrong, give us your commencement year because all your graduations are actually filmed. Russell half attempted to debunk this in a TikTok, but what I think is interesting is what he didn't mention, which is his age. Now, it's no secret that my super fans love to go through every single detail of my life because they love me so much. But correct me if I'm wrong in this, but I was unaware that I had to disclose my whole family history, my work history, and my birth certificate on this app. But now that we're here, let's talk about it. So my father, whom I'm not very close with, by the way, when he was a kid, he was adopted by an Arabic man whose last name was Basili. And when I was born, I was named Russell Basili Jr. But I'm not fucking Arabic. Do I look Arabic to you? And my father and I aren't really close. So a few years ago, I changed my name back to my original family name, Hartley. And another recent scandal is some guy goes, oh, well, he owes taxes on the rules of engagement business he ran. But I never made any money on that show. I only did it strictly to help the boys out in the Hollywood area. I talked about that on Emily Knows Everything's podcast. Check it out. At the end of the year, we let the license expire and the company dissolved. That's it. Lastly is my age. Now I've never said on this app or in a live how old I was, ever. That number came from somebody else. I hope that helps, super fans. 
if his age is actually 33, it makes a lot more sense, all the experience that he's claiming he has with women, but it also makes him a lot, lot more creepy because in all of his videos and in all of his classes and all of that, he teaches you how to go after young girls or college girls. So if he's actually 33, that's a little creepy. Russell Hartley uses shock vertising so that he can get all these people talking about him and rope in a small percentage of desperate and lonely men who actually believe or agree with what he says, who end up following him and buying his course. From what it seems like, these men are desperate, lonely men who get flaked on or ghosted. Then if you scroll down, it says expert coach shows you how to never get flaked on again. So this is targeting dudes that get flaked on. So that's why he acts as if he's this douchebag bachelor player. He's targeting these dudes that get flaked on, that can't find a girl, that want to live that life, but they can't. And then he's selling them a texting course. So today we're gonna uncover what exactly these lonely, desperate men are buying into and what is inside this texting course that Russell is selling. Now this is a huge first on my channel because I've talked so much about these guru scammer free bots who sell their courses, but I've never actually looked into what the courses themselves have to say. So we're gonna actually dive into that today. And I am really, really excited. I'm hoping that today's video will be a fun look into these courses and what these free bot guru scammers are actually selling. But the thing is, I keep going back and forth on whether or not I should actually purchase this course. I don't know if I want to monetarily support a person like Russell. The hypocrisy of this whole series that I'm totally aware of is how influencers like Russell Hartley can capitalize on people like me who talk about how bad they are but end up actually promoting what they do even more. I'm hoping that uncovering the business aspect and bringing awareness to that tactic will help people not kind of fall for that scheme. But reality is I am still contributing to the awareness of Russell being spread, his course awareness being spread. And if I end up purchasing this course, I am actually putting money into this guy's pocket. And I don't know how I feel about that. But first I have some, some really good stuff for you guys. We are going to be looking at some reviews of the texting course coming from Russell Hartley's Instagram itself. All of these testimonials and reviews of the texting course were sent through the DMs, so you know they're definitely legit. It all goes down in the DMs, right? Let's look at these gems of testimonials and see what these lonely men have learned from Russell Hartley's course. All right, so I signed up for your guide to texting girls, and it is something else to say the least. At times, I think you're a psychopath, but by the end of a lesson, it is pure genius. In less than 24 hours, I have totally turned the tables. Oh, how the turntables. Well, well, well. How the turntables. For myself, and I haven't even finished the course. You're a madman. Cheers. Hey, Russell, I got your guide. Just finished the first episode, and let me tell you. I did know some stuff, but didn't know what to do about it, and it's helped me in that sense. Then, not only that, it shifted my mindset. Thanks, man. Can't wait to go through it. That whole... That whole message made... Whoa. That whole message made no sense to me. Like, did he take the course? Did he not? What part... He already knew some stuff, but his mindset has changed. And then he says, that's great, man. I told you, it'll change your life. The person texts back, can't wait to learn more about it and my potential of what I can do. Then later, apparently, there's a message that says, holy guacamole, there's this girl that was always dry and now I'm striking a conversation with her and it's going really good with your advice and lessons. It's so sad because it's literally targeting guys that can't talk to girls or that girls don't respond to or just are 
honestly blatantly not interested in. And it's like, but learn these texting tricks and all of a sudden this lady will be interested in you. Yo, brother, it's crazy how much my response rate has gone up on Tinder with the texting guide. This sounds like an ad, LMAO, but seriously, thank you, sir. Honestly, that DM screenshot itself is what made me think that all of these messages are fake. What random person signs up for an online course goes to thank the like founder or teacher in that course and in that message says, this sounds like an ad. No. What I think would be funny, I'm just picturing in my head, is that he faked all of these texting conversations that he's had with women, and then on top of that, faked all of these like fake reviews, and everything about this course is just completely fake. It's a working theory, I don't have any proof on that, but I also wouldn't be surprised. Especially since a lot of these messages just sound weird, they do. I just can't picture an actual person sending these messages. Hey, I just wanted to give you some more reassurance. Your lessons work. I just watched the texting guide two days ago, and although I was skeptical at first, I'm already seeing exponential improvement. Thank you, and happy hunting. The game, the hunting, it's the objectifying woman for me. Oh my gosh, this one's a wild ride. <laughs> Listen to this, bro. I've been applying what I learned on your text game guide, and they had a girl I messaged on Twitter. She had an OnlyFans, but I was determined to get her socials. In the beginning, she wasn't about it and was just trying to sell me pictures. Fast forward a day and she follows me on Instagram and on Snapchat, and she's talking to me like crazy. Thanks, bro. Text game guide works. So your achievement is that you went from a girl trying to sell you pictures to now following her on Instagram and Snapchat. That was the achievement you unlocked from this texting course. <laughs> Good job, champ. Good job. <laughs> this one's so sad. Russell, your texting game training. Okay, I'm I'm like, can I just not talk today or are these messages worded just like the worst way ever? Just me? Russell, your texting game training is another level. I got a girl's number, hanged out, and she already wanna hang out again. Never happened before. It's never happened before. He's never hung out with a girl and had her wanna hang out the next day. <laughs> this one! <laughs> I can't tell if this one is a joke or not. Before I took your course, I was only able to talk to animals. And now I speak with real human females. Thank you, Russell. <laughs> Those screenshots go on forever and forever. So as you can see, the misogynistic videos, the crazy fantasy stories where he talks about how he's this genius player that has so much dating experience. Now it's clear why Russell wants so badly to make himself an established figure as an internet misogynist, internet's best misogynist. It's because he wants to rope in other misogynistic men who aren't good at dating. Ah who aren't good at dating, who can't get girls and say, hey, woman, stupid, all you have to do is say this thing and that thing and bam, women come over to your place. These people just don't understand that like women are human and women aren't robots that they can just control however they want. It's really funny, but also very, very sad and pathetic. So clearly from all these reviews though, this course is just amazing and lightning. Russell is an expert in dating and he's gonna drop bombs of knowledge. Knowledge. On us all, on how to text girls. So girls, gays, and heteros, let's examine the Russell Hartley texting course and be enlightened with the Russell Hartley wisdom. Spoiler alert or clarification for going into this video so you guys aren't confused. I ended up deciding that the 
best way to do this video is to check out the preview and sample course and not buy the full course so that I don't end up supporting him. Just so you guys know going into this, that's what I ended up going with. If you do a quick Google search, you'll find that Russell Hartley is the founder and CEO of Get Coaching, which is this platform with all of these different coaching courses. And that's where you can find his how to text a girl course. So if you go to courses.getcoaching.co, which is apparently Russell's whole company, you'll see a few different courses come up. The first one is how to develop unshakable confidence. The second one is how to text a girl and not get ghosted. And then the third is how to get a girlfriend in 42 days. Amazing, we love those titles. But for today, I'm going to click on the how to text a girl and not get ghosted course because that's kind of the most popular one or the one that he promotes the most. So let's look at that. A step-by-step -step walkthrough to building attraction over the phone. You know, with COVID and everything, most of us are dating through our phones. So, you know, how to text a girl is probably the most realistic course. And though he phrases it from the perspective of men, not only men are interested in men. So, you know, this is open for everyone. This is a course for everyone. So if you go to the course content, there's a preview, which is a sample lesson. And then there's lesson one, results-driven texting, which is an overview. Lesson two, texting before the first date. Lesson three, how to make her chase you. And then bonus, confident versus cocky. So if you scroll up, it says I am not enrolled and the price is closed. If anything, I'm gonna do the preview sample lesson and let's see what that reveals for us. All right. So first it opens up on this video screen of a woman on a red, like old fashioned phone. And it says the number one best rated texting cheat sheet, cheat sheet, text game guide. Click here to play. Let's do it. Welcome gentlemen to the text game guide. My name is Russell Hartley. I'm a private consultant, but I'm also the producer of the show Rules of Engagement Live. One of the biggest obstacles our clients face after you know they learn how to approach, after they start getting you know phone numbers, then what? Which is the text game, the the, the part between meeting the girl and then going on that first date. Um, what often happens with the inexperienced or guys that are bad at texting, uh, they end up with phone, lots of phone numbers, which is great, meaning lots of leads generated, but they're not really um, closing the deal, so to speak. They're leads generated? <laughs> is dating like a sales funnel or something? leads generated uh, they're, they're definitely not bringing them out on dates they're definitely not you know getting them in their beds they're not getting them in their beds this entire course is also just exposing this really dark underbelly of male mentality when it comes to dating and women and attracting women and their true intentions. It honestly makes me really sad. This guide is meant to break down how to communicate with women better over the phone, over our smartphones. Um, we, in, in our we did a study on this we, with our students and we found that some of the, the texts that we're using, some of the sequences that we're using, increased response rate by around 30%, which is really, really good. So their templates increased response rate by 30%. Once again, there is no such thing as a universal template you can apply that every single woman is going to love because women aren't objects. But that entire theory that women aren't objects that you can't put in this basic template and all of a sudden rope any woman in doesn't fit with this entire course and what they're trying to sell. So in order to sell a course where you apply a template and objectify women, you have to believe that women are objects, you know? So why text versus calling at first? I put it at first in there because uh, you do want to migrate them to more of a calling, FaceTime sort of dynamic, ultimately. But at first, if you get a girl's phone number, then you call her, you know, 15 minutes later to sit and have a conversation. It's weird. It's off-putting, you know? So instead of that, um, we need to sort of like touch base with them over text first, get them comfortable with you lighting up their phone, um, seeing your name on their screen, that sort of thing. So basically, 
you have to test them before you can call them. That's the bomb of knowledge. Knowledge. She just dropped on us all. He just, he feels so awkward. Not this like smooth salesy guy that he comes across as in all of his TikToks. Okay, so sourcing leads. He's treating dating like gathering leads, developing a sales funnel, converting leads, like. So every woman that you meet is a potential sexual partner for you. But the problem is, is that some men will get so emotionally wrapped up um, in, in, the, in women that they find attractive that they um, sort of lose sight of the reality. You could say that they're romantics. Just kidding. Just kidding. If you didn't see part one, Russell said he calls himself a romantic, but also men that get emotionally wrapped up into women. What are you doing, silly? You're not supposed to do that. What? Which is that there's that the woman that they're meeting is simply a lead and, the, and it hasn't converted to a, a sale, so to speak. Uh, you haven't closed the deal. Here's a thought. It's okay to care because it means that you're human. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, totally viable ways to meet women. It's, it works. There's a lot of pretty girls on there, a lot of young girls on there. The great way to meet young, pretty women. Now, also dating apps. Um, all ages are on dating apps. However, I prefer in person because in person, there's no um, Photoshop. You know what you're getting. You know what you're getting into. A lot of girls are low-key catfish, right? So they're, they're you know, on, online, they're hard tens. Easy. But in real, the reality is there's like sixes and sevens. That's what's so funny too, is the hypocrisy. Like Russell 100% puts on a facade. He wears all these suits. He tries to act like he's some player and has all this money and all of that. When in reality, I don't believe that's the case. I kind of believe it's a facade. And I know a lot of other people do too. Yet he looks at women and he's like, you're a catfish. You're, you know, Photoshop. You don't really look like that. But there's a big difference between the way that women depict themselves online versus what they are in real life. So if you meet a woman in real life who's absolute stunner in real life, then great, good. You know what you're getting into. If you meet a woman who's absolute stunner on Tinder, well, you know, good luck to you. I hope, I hope she looks the same. <laughs> Your responsibility as a man is to sort of be the initiator of things. You're the initiator of conversations. You're the initiator of, uh, you're just the action taker. That's just the way it is. You communicate with women over text. It is your responsibility to navigate the waters of communication. Do not, for the love of God, do not expect her to guide the conversation. Do not respect, expect her to be, you know, funny, very intelligent. Don't expect her to be funny or intelligent or an initiator in the conversation. Interesting, interesting. And do not expect her to have um, great dialogue and witty banter, none of that. And it's not really her responsibility. If she has those things and those traits, great, awesome. But very likely she doesn't. And you're, and she's gonna be looking to you to sort of make it the interaction between you over text, fun, exciting, engaging, and so on. What? Here's a thought. Here's a really interesting thought for everyone who thinks this way. If a woman isn't putting effort into a conversation, it's not because she's boring or not funny or not intelligent. It's because she genuinely does not care about you. Sorry, kiddo. Maybe you should look inward, reflect inward into maybe your... <laughs> stance on women and beliefs and how that might be affecting why most women just really don't like you. If you're one of these guys that goes, oh, well, women should have to do just as much and she should comply with uh, with setting up the arrangements and logistics and all that stuff, you are going to have a tough time with women, especially the hot ones. Here's a funny story, though maybe I'm just not hot in Russell's textbook opinion of it, but me and my husband, our first date experience, I completely set up. He was coming back from being deployed in Kosovo. I hadn't seen him in years. We knew each other in middle school, but it had been a long time since then. 
And I was like, I wanna do something fun and special. He helped plan a lot of arrangements too, but overall I was the initiator because I cared. So it depends, you really never know. I think a lot of this is intuitive and it's really interesting how there's these dudes that are trying to like formulate it all and like categorize it and make it as complicated as possible when really it's just about vibing with someone. <laughs> I hate that I just said that. The way you perceive yourself and the, and the way you communicate outwardly um, needs to be refined such that if you're texting like from a position of neediness or you're just trying to get on her calendar or it's just like when is when it, can she be become available to you or when when she's going to make time to see you like that that sort of mindset and behavior is really needy and um it's repulsive to women and, and you should be repulsed in yourself i feel like the guys that Russell targets with this course are the same people that have these awful tinder bios that just get mad because a few girls ghost them and so they just literally go insane there's these tiktok videos about it i'll include one right here this app fuels the female egotistical narcissistic nature by giving them the selfie culture they crave and a smorgasbord of beep to choose from this in turn, transforms most of these girls into picky bitches with shitty attitudes who believe they are special snowflakes. Most of you females on here have nothing to offer besides your deprecating looks and your worn out, disease ridden beeps. So yeah, I feel like he's basically targeting those people. There's a lot of horrible people in this world. Are we surprised? <laughs> um, and again, on being neediness is, uh, and this again, uh, on being needy, I didn't mean to say that. On being needy. He clearly didn't edit this at all or put in any effort. It's just like a really basic PowerPoint and then him just rambling on. <sighs> if only I could make money like that. If only. Please buy my course on how to become a guru scammer where I just do PowerPoints and ramble on about financial freedom and abundance. He's definitely got it all figured out. This is definitely one of the easiest ways to make money. Um, wow. If you have three women in your life that you're texting, right? You're talking to or sleeping with, I don't know. Um, if you have three women in your life and, you're, and you've come across a funny meme, what do you do? Text all three of them the same meme. Women are flaky by nature. Yeah, that's me, just super flaky. Not like women just maybe have options and you're just not the greatest option. So they're just kind of disinterested. No, it's like, we're just so flaky, silly women. Oh my gosh, I forgot my car keys. Oh, sorry, can't make it. This other thing popped up. Yeah, that's how all women are, definitely. Just flaky by nature. I don't know why, biology, you know, estrogen. They're not interested. Who the fuck knows? But the reality is, is that women are flaky by nature. They flake on their friends, they flake on their families, they flake on their, well, all kinds of things. Russell Hartley is the definition of that one guy that got his heart broken in middle school once and just won't forget about it. And furthermore, as the man, it's so naive of you to think that you're the only guy texting her. And also 90% of those guys are texting her that same shit. They're the same guys that go, oh my God, you're so great. You're so beautiful. They're all saying that shit. So you doing it may put you back in the pool of the other fucking cucks that are you know, chasing her. A pretty woman that is on social media in any capacity has volume, son. Like even if, even if she has a hundred followers or whatever, <laughs> 90 of them are men and 90 of them are DMing her. And oh, by the way, all of them are trying to sleep with her, you know? And, and what, are you going to sleep with all of them? All those, all 90 of the 100 men that are following you? Or or uh, if you have a million, all 900,000 men, you're going to sleep with them all? You know, that's crazy. So you have to sort of, the women have to learn to become discerning and who's a quality match that she should sleep with. 
This logic is honestly just exhausting. She wants to be in a relationship with a, with a high value man, of course. She wants to leverage her youth and her beauty to, to be in a high value a relationship with a man who's high value. Not a guy who just doesn't, it doesn't even know a person and is just willing to just give up his whole life savings to this girl. That's pathetic. And it's scary to women because that, scene, that makes you look like a weak, pathetic man. And no woman wants to be with a weak, pathetic man. Uh, women are flaky by nature. So if they're unsure about you, then they're going to flake on you. The, the fact of the matter is, is women are unable to articulate their emotions in that way. They just feel what they feel and they feel it and they react based on that feeling. So they're not putting it into logical sequential order. They can't pinpoint exactly the thing that happened that made them feel off put off towards you but at the end of the day they're put off towards you to say that women like just don't know why they're not attracted to you anymore they can't be logical and explain things logically that's not the case at all i think that a lot of women are just genuinely nicer than men and don't want to hurt someone's feelings or fear for their own safety if they do if they are too brutally honest so it's better to just not communicate but anyways being persistent means that you are you are showing interest in her, but not so much interest in that it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so needy. I just need your attention and I'll give you anything. Being persistent is like, hey, I'm interested in you, but only slightly. And you should give me a reason why I should be more interested in you. So I'll give you a little bit of my attention, have a little fun. But if this, you know, if things get weird or you get weird, I'm gonna like pull away. You know, and I'll show a little bit of interest because I like the way you look. I think you're pretty, but I'm, I'm like good because you might be crazy. Okay, so what not to do? Uh, here's an example. Um, like sending some long text like this. I love that. When my husband and I first started like talking and he would send really long heartfelt messages, it was the sweetest thing in the world. Like... The only time when long sentimental messages don't matter is if you don't care about the person and you're not interested. You know, I, I see guys that our clients, some of our clients will send this to a girl like day two. Man, all right? Don't do that. Um, it's very important. Uh, don't tell a girl how much you like her right out of the gate, like I said earlier. Um, give her some time. Sleep with her first and then tell her how much you like her, Okay. Uh, playful teasing. So this is a real conversation um, on my Instagram from a girl uh, that I, I guess messaged mess with me on Bumble. Um, in an effort to save time, I'm going to read through this very quickly. So hi, I messaged you on Bumble. I'm not on here much. How are you? I'm laying by the pool. So pretty good. Are you on your lunch period? Uh, I guess she was in college. I assumed she was in college. She said, summer break, love, running around, but the pool is calling my name soon too. I said, less, less time running, more time laying. That's what needs to happen. I just did finger painting. I did. I just did finger printing to my new job. Scary, haha. Are you a convict or something? Uh, did they let convicts teach in Nevada? She goes, haha. No, I just felt intimidated by the big cop. Oh, that's right. She was a teacher. That's right. I remember this one. Um, I said that sounds scary. I'm good. Clean record. I said. I mean, you're shaping young minds. I sure hope so. And then boom, she sends me a picture. Look how this conversation went, guys. None of that makes any sense to me whatsoever. None of that conversation, but okay, Russell, good job. <laughs> what a player, realistic, totally believe you. Do you understand? Like, at what point was I like, oh my God, you're so great, you're so beautiful. Like, you just, can you just, can I get you on my calendar? I'm busting her balls, guys. Like, this is like, um, this is like, uh, sorry, Siri's trying to jump in. Uh, but so this is, this is what I mean. You gotta kind of tease her and move it along. Just make sure you're, you know, you know, playfully teasing her. You need to talk to her kind of like she's your little sister almost. Like if you have a sibling, you might know what I'm talking about. But you just sort of like, don't take what they say seriously. And you, you need to talk to a girl like they're your little sister. What? What do you mean? No, don't do that. Um, if your little brother calls you like a duty head or something, right? What do you do? If your little, if you have a little kid brother, he's like, oh, you're such a duty head. Do you like break down and cry? Do you have an episode? Do you like say, I would never call you a duty head. I can't believe you would say that to me. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? 
<laughs> no, Russell, I do not understand what you're saying. Just don't be moved by things they say and amuse yourself. All right. And this is a good example of that. You're going to get many more examples um, on how to actually execute this uh, later on. So here we go. And that's going to be it for this preview. If you've learned something so far, that's great. There's going to be much more to go over and uncover as we move along through the rest of this course. Holy crap. That was so long. That was such a long preview. What? Why? Why? That was so painful. Guys, that was so painful. I'm probably going to edit out the most painful parts, but there were so many parts that he just rambled on and I just sat here like feeling my brain cells slowly dying. Like, oh my gosh, what? why? Why was that part free? That made me not interested in buying the full course at all whatsoever because holy crap, that was so long. What, what new information was in there? This is what we learned. The main takeaways, text first, don't call, don't be needy, be chill in a conversation, and playfully tease sometimes, treating this girl like your younger sister. Wow, Russell, you have enlightened us with just genius moves and strategies for texting girls. And I know his rebuttal would probably be, well, the best content's in the actual course, but you talked for legit an hour and could barely give out anything that wasn't like basic knowledge. Okay, so let's go to unlock the full course and see what it costs. Okay, so you click on that and it says, no page matching this path found. Okay. <laughs> so let me go back to course and click on take this course. So then you do that and then it goes back to that page that we were on in the first part of this series. And you have to put in your full name and your best email. And it brings you back to the preview thing, which is, no, we are not watching that again. And under it, it says, yes, I want to be great at texting girls. Normally $499, today just $39. So for that full course of boringness, it is $39. And of course, this great deal expires in one hour and 30 minutes. Yeah, so after watching that preview, I've thought about it, whether or not to get the full course. First off, I'm sure we would be here for hours. Second off, I highly doubt that any other information besides what he's already given away is in there, like any other valuable information. And I'm just not interested in reviewing it. I am not interested in giving him $39 or any of that. So I'm not gonna be doing that. That preview killed my brain enough as it is. Oh my gosh, $39 to listen to him ramble on with a basic PowerPoint presentation. It's actually insane how long this web page goes on and on um, with all of Russell's entire dating story out there. If you want to read it, I highly recommend it. It's very entertaining. Oh my gosh, this landing page is insane. It looks like there's guys that did video testimonials of all of this. But what's weird is their like profile picture is all the same, but let's see what they have to say. This dude looks interesting. Yeah, so um, the guide's been very helpful in terms of like a, a few key concepts that I feel like uh, you need to know before you text girls. Or you're just gonna have like a super long learning curve. So um, they, it really gave you a speed a speed up with like learning those like key concepts. But um, in terms of results, I have been doing better, not necessarily where I want to be yet. I think there is like a, a lot of practice that needs to be involved. But um, I think that the, everything the video says does make a lot of sense. Hey guys, so this is a review video for Texan Game by Russell Hartley. Um, I myself like to look at the reviews before I purchase. And I gotta tell you, you really have to know the nuances for um, coronavirus and post-coronavirus situations. And with this one, you really don't want to interrupt your life. Unlike a lot of the other products that I've purchased, you don't have to spend hours upon hours reading, writing, planning. You don't make it about the girls. Don't interrupt your life. You just want to cut straight to the chase. Is it weird that I find these reviews actually adorable? It just seems like 
these very clueless guys who just really don't know how to talk to women. And because Russell has portrayed himself with this facade of being this expert at speaking with women, they're like, oh my gosh, wow, gotta buy this course because I have no idea how to speak with women. So yeah, the uh, TextGate guy is very uh, beneficial and definitely worth the money. I, um, I never really had any trouble getting women or getting attention or anything like that. But uh, I was having some trouble with like some needy behavior I felt like on my part um, prior to taking this course. And this course kind of just like helped snap me out of that and get me back focused. Like I was honed in on one girl and this kind of shows you there's, there's so many fish in the sea, you know what I mean? And it is so easy to get these numbers and, um, you know, if you if you follow the the guide and you know just uh, keep your confidence and like Russell says a lot just be a fucking man <laughs> shit shit uh, definitely works a lot better hey Russell it's Michelangelo I just wanted to say that your course is amazing it it's like completely changed my mindset and changed my games with like or changed my game my bad <laughs> with only uh, a few days like the matter of days and it also like just made me realize all the mistakes I was making and how now I can change that and use this information towards my advantage and I really appreciate um, your course and being able to use it and learn from it so yeah thank you the course so far has gotten me cheesy like ear to ear it's kind of crazy the things that you're saying I really appreciate how you explain that you don't need to come you shouldn't be coming from a needy place so I found myself to be more busy in finding that um, the texting is a side thing. It should be just for fun. I really like that idea. Also, I've been a little more cheeky with what I said, not holding back. Some, I, I like it when you said that you have to, first and foremost, make it entertaining for yourself. And I've been doing that and I just can't stop laughing at the shit that I'm saying. Hi, my name I actually just ended up finishing the how to text a girl and not get ghosted course and pretty much when I started I ended up finding uh, Russell on TikTok and then I was like looking at some of the videos he ended up taking and I was like there's no way this guy's getting girls with just taking a few minutes out of his day and just putting these laughing emojis on these girls posts and I'm like there's no way because before I was just like really weird about texting girls and that I didn't know what to text them. So, and then I ended up seeing that there was like the perfect course for me. And I never thought about like many things to do. I was always the one that was like apologetic when I would like always ask questions. And, but going back to it, I wanted to just say thank you very much. And it really helped like learning all of this information. And like, I kind of wish I learned it sooner. And then, like, there would have been a lot of things that I would have changed and not, like, ghost got ghosted by a few girls. And then maybe I'll try some of the things to get one or two of the girls back. But it was really an awesome experience to learn all of this stuff. So thank you very much. I'm sure that they have some sort of special quality about them that people would be interested in if they didn't try and be like Russell who just honestly no one likes. I mean, look online. No one likes this dude. No one likes that personality. It's not going to work for the majority of people, realistically. This actually brings up a really good topic that someone commented in my first part of this two-part series on Russell Hartley, where they were basically like, hey, I'm a lonely guy and it's really tough sometimes to be a lonely person. As a heterosexual male, you can't really express your emotions because of toxic masculinity and this general concept that men being lonely is like a weakness and men having these feelings of uh, longing for partnership is a weakness. You kind of feel isolated in your loneliness and like you can't talk to anyone about it. And it is a sad reality that happens. And I think it leads a lot of really desperate men into looking for solutions like this 
wanting so badly to fix their loneliness and what's going on, thinking that some sort of alpha male figure is going to solve all of these problems for them. And I don't know what the solution is, I'm not an expert, but I definitely don't think a Russell Hartley texting course is the solution. And I'm really sad that a lot of lonely men are actually really vulnerable to these types of scams because they don't have many other avenues to go to or places to go to or people to talk to about this. And the last thing I will ever say about Russell Hartley, because honestly, I never want to make a video on this dude again. I do have to point out the Facetune that he uses on his Instagram photos because I just haven't seen that many people talk about it. I usually don't talk about appearances for the majority of people that I talk about, but just look at this facetune that Russell <laughs> uses on his Instagram. And I think that just sums up everything. He shames girls for using facetune and catfishing, yet he is literally the ultimate catfish that uses facetune and pretends he's this abundant, rich dude or whatever he's trying to pretend he is. If you are a lonely male who's watching this, please, don't listen to guys like Russell. Most of the time, nine times out of 10, they will lead you down a bad path. And I think ultimately, let's just try as a society, as a whole, to stop giving clout to cringe influencers. They have nothing good to give back to the world. They usually end up starting scam courses or some sort of scam shady business just to capitalize off of their two minutes of fame and most of it is all very criminally basic. We've seen it before. It's happened far too many times. I do think it's important for awareness of this type of scheme to be spread more, of outrage marketing to be spread more, just so people don't get roped in as easily. I don't think it's going away anytime soon. It's extremely effective, but at least awareness might help it not be as effective. Because let's be real, the lonely men that bought Russell Hartley's course are being played by him more than they're playing actual women. Just a word of warning, don't put your email into the Russell Hartley texting course or you will be bombarded with the weirdest emails ever. Oh my gosh.